Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I got a bunch of Chicago Bulls news, rumors, and some injury updates. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Bulls front office being seen scouting some draft prospects already, also giving a bunch of injury updates, and talking about the Bulls being urged to trade for Cam Reddish. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like below today's video. It takes a second and helps me out a lot. And leave some comments and questions below today's video about all the topics and updates dates i'm about to jump into but nonetheless let's just jump right into it also just a quick little heads up i just got done watching the bulls lose to the hawks and let me just first off say that game was ugly from start to finish i felt like the bulls should have won that game two or three different times or different plays it was just very stressful and honestly disappointing to watch it also didn't help that the bulls couldn't hit a three-pointer to save their life i mean that problem's kind of been going on all season long but if the bulls are going to continue to only shoot 26 percent from three-point range that this bulls team is not going to win a lot of games and i also felt like it doesn't help that this bulls team was just very sloppy from start to finish and i don't get that because i felt like versus the mavs i mean obviously they were without luca i just felt like their defense was just very dialed in they were very active the chicago bulls turned over the ball almost 20 times versus the hawks and you're just not going to win games in the nba turning over the ball that much i mean like i did say this game was very stressful i'm very very disappointed that the Bulls did lose this game and the Bulls are now three and nine in clutch games which is very sad to say because of how good this Bulls team was last year in clutch games no matter what leave some comments and questions below today's video about the Bulls tough and just stressful loss to the Hawks last night and the first topic I wanted to talk about in today's video is that some of the Bulls front office and just scouting team has been seen scouting some college games. And just the other day, it was just December 6th. Huge shout out to Daniel Greenberg for putting this tweet out. He did report saying that the Bulls have one of their scouts currently at the Illinois versus Texas game. So that's really cool to see that even during the NBA season that the Bulls are having scouts go to college games. And after that, another tweet did come out from mid-November, so a few weeks back. And Another NBA insider did report a dozen or so NBA scouts are at the Rock tonight for another college game. And Chicago Bulls Vice President Artoris was seen there. And there has been a lot of eyes and just NBA scouts watching Chris Murray. So that's really cool to see. And this doesn't really surprise me. I mean, Chris Murray, you know, I don't know much about him just because I'm not a big college fan. But as of right now, he is expected to be drafted anywhere from a late first round draft pick to a second round draft pick. And that's exactly where I expect the Bulls. Bulls draft pick to be if the Portland Trail Blazers do make the playoffs, which I do expect them to. The Blazers have started this season really impressive. So that's great to see that our Taurus and the Bulls have scouts out there already scouting and getting ready for this upcoming draft. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about that whole situation. And the next topic in today's video is about the New York Knicks shopping pretty much everyone on their roster. There's been a lot of trade rumors surrounding the Knicks shopping Rose Quickly and Cam Reddish. And I've seen a lot of Bulls fans and Bulls insiders and writers urging the Bulls to trade for Cam Reddish. I mean, Cam Reddish has kind of been, I'd say, linked to the Bulls for a while now. I know a lot of Bulls fans wanted the Bulls to draft him a few seasons ago. And there's been some reports that came out saying that New York's asking price for Cam Reddish appears to be a second round draft pick or a player on a rookie contract with a different skill set so i mean the bulls do have future second round draft picks if they want to take a chance on cam reddish or they can maybe i'd say swap marco for him he's a rookie player on a rookie rookie contract i don't really see them taking marco but if the bulls are i'd say interested in cam reddish i'd definitely probably trade a second rounder and take a chance on him i was really high on cam reddish coming out of college i mean i don't get why the knicks traded for him and have pretty much never played him and even when they do he's been very inconsistent to little to no minutes and Bulls scripted on Twitter he's been really urging and pushing the Bulls to just take a chance on Cam Reddish because he's still super young you know he was a very high at least skilled prospect coming out of college and I mean what more can I say he was the 10th overall draft pick back in 2019 like I did say his minutes has been kind of all over the place since leaving the Hawks and on the Hawks I'd say in his last season with the Hawks he was shooting about 38 percent from three-point range now like I did say he was the 10th pick back in 
2019 for a reason. He is a 6'7 small forward. He's only 23 years old, and on this season for the Knicks, he has been averaging about 22 minutes a night when he has played. And in those minutes, he has averaged 8 points per game, shooting 45% from the field, only about 31% from 3-point range, about 2 rebounds, 1 assist, and 1 steal per game. Like I did say, he's still super young. He was a very highly thought of draft prospect coming out of college. I'm kind of iffy on this whole situation. I mean, I wouldn't be mad if the Bulls did toss a second round draft pick for him or they just kept it. And I mean, on his career, he's only a 32% three-point shooter. If he was definitely maybe a 35 to 43-point shooter, I'd say do it now because this Bulls team needs three-point shooting. But as of right now, I'd honestly just keep the Bulls second round draft pick. I'm not really sure. I would be fine if they did or they didn't. Leave some comments below today's video because I know a lot of Bulls writers and Bulls fans on Twitter have been really been wanting the Bulls to trade for for Cam Reddish and just take a chance on him. And the final topic in today's video is just some injury updates for the Chicago Bulls. Obviously, Alex Caruso didn't play last night versus the Hawks. He was ruled out early. He's been dealing with some lower back pain, and he's kind of had an ankle injury for the past few weeks. Billy Donovan did say he'll stay in Chicago and get additional treatment. Obviously, also last night, Javante Green played and Zach Levine, and that's huge for Zach Levine. I mean, obviously, we all know to start the season, he really wasn't playing that well, and he, he was kind of missing seen every other back to back zach said to keep it simple enough i was playing either way if he was playing the whole game in the blowout win versus the mavs so that's really good to see zach levine's knee is finally getting right he's just looking better on the floor even though he did struggle with turnovers versus the hawks the other day and same with javante green he also played last night versus the hawks i mean i saw the bulls were kind of limiting and watching his play in minutes which that's good he's been dealing with some right knee bone issues and a bone bruise so no matter what it does look like this Bulls team is getting a little bit more healthy. I mean, last night versus the Hawks, Io Dusumu did leave and he had a back contusion, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, Io and Caruso can get healthy for this Bulls team quick because I'd say in Io and Caruso, those are the Bulls' two best defenders currently. And I also thought it was really impressive how well Io Dusumu was guarding Trey Young until he did get hurt. The Bulls are definitely going to miss Caruso and Dusumu's defense for, I'd say, a game or two. Hopefully, they can get back soon. All right, guys. So definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about those recent injury updates. It's really good that Zach Levine is looking like he's finally getting his legs under him and hopefully he won't miss any more back-to-backs for the rest of this NBA season. Also leave some comments below today's video if you guys want the Bulls to take a chance on Cam Reddish. Like I did say earlier in today's video, I'm kind of 50-50 split. I mean, I'm down to give a second round draft pick to just take a chance on him and even if we don't, I really don't care. I feel like he wouldn't make that big of a difference if we do or don't trade for him but either way thank you guys for all the love on the channel and the past few videos i really do appreciate it thank you guys for watching today's video have a good one